Hey there, good friends. Welcome new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Today we will take a look at two products from Tax Systems. The first one's going to be Fabric Coat. This is a smudge proof, water repellent uh, protectant for convertible tops, uh, cloth seats, carpetings, floor mats. The second one is going to be Acute Sense. This is a leather coating. Um, anti-chemical, anti-spill, UVA, UVB resistant, uh, protectant for your leather seats, leather of all kind. One of these I like, one of these I do not. Let's get right to it. We'll start with Tax System Fabric Coat. 500 milliliters for $56.99. Now that's downright pricey. You can get a little 50 milliliter for $5.99, and they do have a larger size. They do have a 1,000 milliliter um, as well. This coating here is tailor-made for fabrics. Works on cloths, floor mats, carpeting, convertible tops, such as this one here. We already have it cleaned. That's taken care of, and it's perfectly dry. That is also a must. The fabric needs to be perfectly dry before applying the coating. So all we have left here to do to prepare is to cover and protect the surrounding areas, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Fabric Coat provides high UV protection. It also provides a bit of stain resistance, and that goes for any surface that it's applied to. It does enhance the durability of the fabric or the material you're trying to protect as well. On the 50th anniversary here, I'm gonna use this coating to protect the cloth top. It will also protect canvas tops. If you have cloth seats, it will take care of protection on floor mats and carpeting and really any type of upholstery. I've applied this a few different ways. You can use just a regular spray nozzle on top of the container, which I'm gonna show you here. You can also at, try to atomize it a bit more by using a pneumatic spray gun, a gravity fed. I've also used the airbrush system. As long as you clean out the system afterwards, any one of those will work. Okay, we have everything buttoned up and protected the surrounding areas. Using the spray nozzle, you really don't have to cover the whole car. If I was using something with forced air that atomizes it a bit more, yeah, I would definitely cover the whole car. And with the spray nozzle, it's as easy as this. Keeping your arm in motion, go back and forth over the canvas or whatever material you do want to protect and get an even coat. Two coats is perfect for this top here. Although a huge fan of the tax system, Pretty much the entire system, this product here, rubs me the wrong way. Number one, the price, and number two, on lighter colored materials, fabrics, carpeting, it changes the shade. It makes the shade a little bit darker, and I think that has something to do with the viscosity of the product. The thinner products that evaporate much quicker um, really have a tendency to keep the shade the same. This one here will bring it down a notch or two when it comes to the shade of tan or white or whatever lighter colors there are out there. Now to help it cure, you can pull the car right out into direct sunlight, or you can grab your heat gun, and that's what I'm doing here. When cured, the coated areas do feel natural. They don't feel like you're touching the top of a porcupine. You can also protect your mats, floor mats, carpeting, uh, cloth seats. Two coats uh, with them as well, and I'll drag these out into the sunlight and uh, let Mother Nature cure them. And when we're finished, they will, be, uh, they will fight stains, they will resist water, they will fight UVA, UVB damage to the material. And again, if you're working with darker colors like um, black or dark gray, it doesn't matter. But just to note, these lighter colors will change shade slightly.
All right, let's move on. Out back, I have uh, a seat sitting up against the building here. Half of it is protected, and if you don't see the uh, obvious line already, the left hand is protected. It's darker, it's richer, uh, it's water repellent. I'm going to show you here. I'll just uh, quick squirt it uh, when I have it flipped here. It's going to be the bottom half that's protected. You'll see how it beads, just like uh, a regular coating would. A huge help if you have kids and they're constantly bringing drinks into the car. You know, spills happen. It's it's part of daily life. The coating here uh, will help resist spills. Just grab a damp microfiber, dab it up, and you're good to go. This here is called Acute Sense. This is a uh, versatile coating uh, for reconditioning and protecting leather, both old and new. 500 milliliters for $19.99. Now this is a great price for this because I paid more for other coatings and other leather care products. Let me show you how to prepare leather for such a coating. You want to work your way from the seams out. The seams are the most important areas uh, to get clean. Not only is that where the dirt uh, settles to, but as you're sliding your butt in and out of the car, on and off the seat, those patches rub together and you will have premature wear. The top coat will wear, you're going to have problems with stitching. So I'm going to start with using forced air. Uh, if not, just grab a, a soft detail brush and get the loose dirt out of there. Uh, stay away from using vacuum cleaners unless you have a rubber nozzle against because that could scuff the top coat as well. If you have a rounded off nozzle like I have here on the air chuck, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, you can also put rubber nozzles um, on the air chuck uh, as well as a vacuum cleaner. Take all the care you need to take care of your leather. I'm going to follow that up with a um, dedicated leather cleaner. This one lathers up really nice. I'll put a link down below for these products today. And again, I'm going to continue to clean the seams and the stitching and work our way from the seams out. The coating consists of 20% silica, a mixture of both solidify and curing. The acute sense, it also uh, forms a protective barrier on any leather surface at all. Not just your normal, everyday um, car seats from entry-level cars, but also the more delicate leathers and more expensive leathers as well. Acute sense can keep leathers soft, subtle to the feel when it cures it it's not greasy or will transfer back onto your clothes when you're sliding in and out of the car it prevents discoloration protects against uva uvb bacteria that builds up on the leather surface and in the crevices and is water repellent and spill proof besides automobile leather seats it's also an excellent choice for Leather motorcycles, saddlebags, purses, wallets, other types of items made out of leather, including shoes. I have now switched from the seams and the cracks and crevices to the textured surface of the leather. And for that, I grabbed this detailing brush right here for leather. I'll put a link down below. As you can see, this thing's old and I've had it for a year. And when I first purchased this, I thought it was expensive I have to look again, but I believe it was 24 bucks, and I was thinking 24 for this little thing. What a ripoff! But I can tell you, this thing has lasted for me, and I beat it up. You can see uh, it's not in great shape anymore, but it has great functionality. It is really an effective tool, and it's still going after a year. The leather cleaner here is HyperCleanse. That's from Lithium Auto Care. That is a very effective product and easy to use on leather, lathers up, lifts, emulsifies, break down dirt on leather, vinyl, uh, a great product here, very easy to use on leather. All right, let's grab the Acute Sense. The only other thing you're going to need is a microfiber applicator or foam applicator and have a microfiber slung over your shoulder. I rarely need it. All you have to do is spread out the product and let it cure. It flashes quickly. Unless you really spill it or mess up, that's the only time you're going to need a follow-up microfiber to level it off and get any high spots. Other than that, you're going to see it cure 
to a nice satin natural finish, natural look and feel. Now that those areas are clean, you'll see me concentrate on the cracks, crevices, and the seams where the stitching is. Protect those areas first and then worry about the, the rest of the uh, textured surface for the leather. Give me a second here. I'm going to grab you guys, bring you in close, and let you see just how quickly the stuff is flashing. Even a, a high spot like that will cure to look natural. Again, unless you spill it, you're really only going to need a microfiber to follow up then, but it uh, cures uh, to a nice satin finish. No glossy mess, no transfer back onto your clothes. And I'm going to remove the tape, and you'll see it's a nice, subtle change. Nothing really crazy overbearing it restores the condition of the leather both look feel and protection that's going to about wrap up today's video we took care of the acute sense and the fabric coat I have a storage room full of products to go and showcase for you guys so stay tuned if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't you know where that button is um, comment subscribe and share have a good day, guys. Okay, for the final thought segment of the video, let's talk about acute scents, the leather coating first. Antibacterial, uh, fights against UVA, UVB, spills, it's a water repellent, yet leaves the leather, all types of leather, feeling natural, looking natural. This one here, I like. This one is uh, very effective. It does exactly what it claims to do. The fabric coat, on the other hand, is one I do not favor. It does exactly what it says. It does protect. It is a repellent. However, the ability of the product to change lighter colored fabrics, to change the shade, if that makes any sense, uh, is something that turns me off and is probably the first product from the tax systems that um, I do not favor. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.